that she wants to come in? I don't know. Is James there? I, I think I see James. I see James <laughs> Next too. to her. Until it's dinner time. What's in there? Nothing's in there. Oh, shit. So a little while back, my friend James, who is a core member of our Land Party Story series, and by this point, I think holds the title for most Land Parties hosted at his house, he reached out asking me for help building a PC. James is familiar with PC parts. He built his last system, but that was nearly eight years ago. His system specs are an i7-4770K and a GTX 970. He built it brand new and has been using it well into 2022. Eight years being on the same system without any major changes to the processor or the graphics card, that's a really impressive run. But now it's time for an upgrade. I'm always happy to help friends and family when they come to me for their PC needs, but James being a really long time friend and a core member of our land group, I couldn't just simply help him build his next PC. I had to have a little fun with it and tie in the other land friends. It's almost a tradition at this point. What did you guys do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Okay, here's what we do. We can swap your drives at least into um, the spare PC. Mm -hmm. Make sure those are good, but... Yeah. Surprise! Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you guys. Everybody here was in on it. <laughs> <laughs> we made sure you won the race. We practiced. So let's have some fun. So when James approached me with this project, he was ready to spend a lot of money on it. He'd been mentioning it for a while that he wanted to go big on his next PC, and it was a running joke that even though Nerd on a Budget would be building it, it would be a PC not on a budget. <laughs> you got it from course there. Oh yeah, I'm totally down to build your PC, James. But, but the title of mine needs to be not a budget. <laughs> yeah. Like it's gonna be. <laughs> He wanted to go big not only because he was long overdue for an upgrade, but also because for the last few years, James has been working a crazy amount of hours for very little pay as a business owner. And it's been stressful having little money, trying to keep up with the bills and all that. And a PC upgrade just was not a priority during that time. Like I want to get a camera system soon, but again, money. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like starting your own business and doing all that is a lot of fun. I'd definitely do it again, but it don't make you a lot of money. You can make up for not making any fucking money in the last four years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just amazed that I've somehow managed to keep all my bills paid. Like that's, <laughs> it's been a constant like juggling act, but I've, I haven't missed a payment on anything yet, so hey. He persevered through all of that and is in a much better position financially now. So he's just doing what most people would do and finally treating himself. So I sat down with him, talked about what he wanted, planned out the specs and the aesthetics he was going for, and this is what we came up with in terms of parts. Starting off with the processor, we went with Intel's i7 12700K. This will offer plenty of performance for James's needs, which is primarily gaming, with some dabbling in CAD and other workstation related applications here and there. Cooling this will be Corsair's IQ H150i Elite Capellix. James wanted to go all white for this build, so that's what we went for. The white variant of this 3 fan cooler does not have an LCD version out of the box, it only comes with a standard pump block plate. James was really hoping for an LCD screen though after seeing it on Jan's and Martin's PCs, so we got the white LCD upgrade kit that Corsair offered for him to be able to do that. The motherboard that we paired with the 1270K is NZXT's N7 Z690. Going for the all white theme, NZXT makes some of the cleanest white motherboards out there. James has always leaned towards team green, so it was decided pretty early on that he was getting an Nvidia card. The issue is that white graphics cards are a lot harder to get and they carry a premium just for being the color white. We settled on the RTX 3080 being enough performance for him. Now the trouble was finding him a white card because I was not comfortable trying to spray paint a typical black graphics card without it coming out ugly. So this left us with three options. It was either Zotac's Trinity OC White Edition, which is a pretty weird looking card. There's the Gigabyte Vision OC, which has this weird purplish maroon mirror thing on it, as well as the card not actually being all that white. It's more of a silver card. And then last but not least, there's the Asus Strix White Edition, which is hands down the best looking white card in the US market anyway. So that was the card to get, but oh my goodness, look at how much of a markup these have on them. 
The other two cards can be found near $800, but the white ROG Strix card was around $1,100 to $1,200, and they were hard to find in stock. So I had to look far and wide for one, and I even reached out to my Twitter followers for help, and there ended up being one open box one at Micro Center in Maryland. And thanks to the help of Builds by Zeph from the Jowl community, as well as one of my viewers here on Twitter, Rafi, we were able to coordinate a reservation and pick up of that card. Rafi ended up being the one that was faster, so he got the card in hand. So huge thanks to him and his girlfriend for taking the time to pick it up. After paying sales tax, shipping, and a thank you fee to Rafi for his time, this card ended up costing $1,100. It was expensive, but that's the compounded RG Strix and white part premium for you. James had asked specifically for 64 gigabytes of RAM, and while I think he would have been fine with 32 gigabytes, we still worked it in for him because memory prices have been pretty good, so we went with 4 by 16 gigabyte of White Vengeance Pro RGB memory rated at 3200 MHz CL16. Storage-wise, he wanted to fill the M.2 slots with the biggest reasonable drive we could get, so based on that and his preference for Samsung, we went with two 2 terabyte Samsung 970 EVO Pluses for a total of 4 terabytes of NVMe SSD storage. For the power supply, we've got NZXT's recently released least C1000 unit. This is a high quality 1000 watt unit that's 80 plus gold efficient with a 10 year warranty. Perfect for someone like James who will use his system forever before upgrading. Going for an all white theme, it was fitting to get white cable extensions which I picked up this set from Asia Horse. There are tons of different brands out there but I got this set specifically because it comes with three 8 pin connectors which we need for the RG Strix 3080. The case James chose is the Corsair IQ4000D Airflow QL which we paid a bit of a premium for and able to get that pure white aesthetic. Corsair makes another version of this case for cheaper, but that one has pretty noticeable gray accents on it. This QL version is completely white all around, and Corsair calls it true white, and it's bundled with four of their RGB fans and an IQ lighting node core RGB controller. Aside from that, this is pretty much the same as every other version of the 4000D Airflow, which is a pretty popular case and for good reason. It's easy to build in, it looks great, and has good airflow. James enjoys watching anime and he likes One Piece a lot, so he wanted to incorporate that into the build. He chose a Luffy plate for the graphics card and a Zoro plate for the case power supply basement. Both are from V1 Tech in the same line art style with red accents on primarily white backgrounds. These plates came out really clean and V1 Tech did a really good job as always with the perfect custom shape to match whatever specific graphics card you have. Now let's take a look at the complete parts list and the cost breakdown because man, this one, it was expensive. The most expensive system I've built on the channel actually. The grand total in parts after everything is accounted for including tax came in just shy of the $3,500 mark. This build cost this much not because we squeezed as much performance as we could into it, but because we spared no expenses when it came to getting the exact aesthetics James wanted, among other things like that extra SSD storage. James was perfectly happy with paying for all this though because again, he wanted to treat himself after working so hard for the last few years, and as I've said before, my friends never expect free handouts from me. James didn't come to me for help because he was hoping to get free parts or a free upgrade. In fact, it was the complete opposite. When I gave him the total, he happily sent me the money right over so I could get to buying the parts. Every last penny of it. Now you may be saying to yourself, what gives? Why aren't you helping James out like you did your other friends with their build upgrades? And we'll get to that in a little bit, but first, we need to see what this build looks like. I'll be releasing the entire build sequence for this later on, but for now, here's the build fully completed. Being that this PC was going to be a pretty big deal for him, I thought it'd only be fitting for him to be surrounded by his close friends when he finally received it. So I hit up the land crew in a secret chat, of course, and we plotted out how to surprise him with it. The plan we came up with was to have a barbecue where I'd secretly show up and set up the system in his office without him knowing, and then eventually get him to go in there and reveal the surprise. I had purposely been giving him very few updates as I worked on the PC, and I even threw him some fake issues that came up that would require more time, so he had no idea how close or far away I was from finishing it. And unbeknownst to him, he was about to get his new PC. Alright, it's the day of the barbecue. Time to get James's system shut down, packed up, and down to his house. Oh, 
All right, let's get in the car. I have the lovely Melissa behind the camera recording right now. Thank you. We're taking Melissa's car so that James doesn't notice when we park kind of close to his house because my Yaris, you can tell from a mile away. All right, we're good. All right. We got rain, we got traffic. Name something more Seattle than that. All right, we're only a few blocks away now, but I need to approach the house from a certain side so that he can't you see me driving him? by. Uh, no, I'm just gonna park. And then what, text her? And then text her to let us know that they're here and then once she can slip away and let us through the front. This one? Yep. It's a Subaru here? That's his, I think it's his brother's car. That's Jan. He's waving. He's waving. <laughs> All right, he, he, he go distract him. Jan was tasked with keeping James distracted and making sure that he stayed near the back of the house while we snuck through the front to set everything up. Is Jesse ridden his bike yet? Like my dollar good shirt? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Love not paying full price for anime cheese. Just whenever Target slip away, she'll let us in. That Tara? James is right there. Oh God, does he see? Does he see? Hiding? Uh, okay, well, to open the door. I think I see James. I see James <laughs> next too. to her. Hopefully, he's not asking about why there's a blue Civic in what his front yard. No. Go through the boat entrance. Okay, the boat entrance. I think she's still there. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yes, yeah, she's texting me. Go. Over there. Both of his monitors use DVI. His monitors did not have ACMI or DisplayPort. They only had DVI and BGA, and he was running a DVI to DVI cable like this one from each of his monitors to the graphics card. This was definitely not anything I would have imagined running into. So yeah, there wasn't anything else I could do though. So I got it set up as much as I could. And then we came back around the front of the house and acted like we just got there. What? Yeah. Liar! Evelissa's here! Yay! These monitors are TVI only. There's no HDMI. I couldn't even hook it up. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Is your PC hooked up right now, Jim? Yeah. Can I get a video of it for the side-by-side yeah. -side before and after comparison? Yeah. Okay. What time? It's kind of—it's not like hooked up on top of my desk. But... Oh, okay. Where's it at? <laughs> uh, it's in my office. I think. So. Okay. Yeah, we can go check it out. He's got an hour and like a half until it's dinner time. What's in there? Nothing's in there. <laughs> oh shit! How long did that take you guys? Surprise! To do? Hey! You just got nerd on the budget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, it looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited. So you know what? Is it already hooked up and everything? So I've hooked up as much as I could, but it turns out your monitors are DVI only, <laughs> and your cables are DVI to your graphics card. Do you have any adapters that go from DVI to HDMI? No. <laughs> okay. Damn. Well, I was also planning on getting a new monitor this week anyway, so maybe oh, okay. just uh, accelerate that. You got your LCD that you wanted, yep. so I put a little thing in there for you. Just I just thought that was pretty no, fitting. I love it. Was it that Corsair one? Do you think yep, it's, it's, it's the exact same as yours, except a white version. 
And I was so worried that that board would like stop it in time for land. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I yeah. I hope yeah. it's in time for land. Initially, the, it did take a little while to get all the parts in because remember, we were planning the plates and everything. Yeah, yeah. And, um, like, I couldn't make up my mind either. Yeah, you could make up your mind. Like, and then planning. You know, for everyone to be here, push oh it back a little bit. It looks so amazing. I left the peel on Ooh. that, so <laughs> let's get the peel as always, as tradition. All right, ready? <laughs> I have to go slow, right? Yeah. But now it looks even clearer. I think there's a peel on the inside too. Ooh. You got that ASMR? All right. I don't know, it. you're yeah. like, through the whole thing, you're just like, ooh. I'm talking like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's so satisfying. I can't help Okay, it. so there is also a peel on the inside, right there. <laughs> All right, now look how clear this is. Gosh. Oh, deal. Yeah, so. Yeah, everything's RGB, but I just figured the white looks way cleaner yeah. to show it as. It really does. All right, who's going to Best Buy to get some cables? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right? I, was, I thought it would be smaller, but I'm really glad mm -hmm. that it's like... You mean the, the whole case? The, the graphics. Oh, okay. Yeah. The graphics. I was worried that like you wouldn't really be able to see it. You'd have to like squint, but they're so clear. Those plates look awesome. Those plates look freaking dope. This is an RG Strix card. I had to hunt this down. I I had a subscriber from another state. Uh, they had one at Micro Center, open box. Oh wow. Hunt this down and send it to me. But the really cool thing about this is that it comes with a ring. So a ring? yeah, there's a ring. Asus for their white RG Strix card specifically includes like this championship style ring. Uh, so I figured I'd do something special with it and give it to James. Oh wow, that is crazy. Does it fit? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> A little small for that. If it's there, kinda. Yeah. It's kinda too small for some fingers and too big for others, but it looks really cool. I can put it somewhere. I did notice that it was Strix because that's the same that I have in the other one. So I recognized it. Is there anything in here? Oh my gosh. What's this? What I think it is. Are you proposing? No. <laughs> no, I'm not proposing. Like, <laughs> is this how much I paid for it? Or it it's not how much you it? paid for it, but it's a. <laughs> I did go a little extra. It's with a it. big chunk of the money back. Oh. Um, just Thank because. You, man. Yeah, for sure. I know that when you approached me to build this PC, you were ready to pretty much pay for it all yourself. Yeah. And, um, I couldn't let that happen because helping out like Martin recently and Jan, you were next in line. Uh, obviously, the PC you wanted was way over budget that yeah. I wouldn't be able to cover or get enough sponsorship to cover. But Fair. I was able to hit up companies like NZXT, uh, Corsair, they helped out with the cooler, the U1 Tech, as you saw, they hit up with the plates. And then um, yeah. I put in some of my own money to give you back a good chunk of it so that, Thank you know, you, you can use that for whatever else you need to. Yeah, I uh, think this one's going to last me quite a while. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Danny. For sure. That's fantastic. All yours to enjoy. Mm. Too bad we can't see it turned on, so. I know. Uh, <laughs> I'll fix it. We'll get a good shot Can at I land. Can DoorDash us some cake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wanted to stay here and like play with it, but I'm also. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we gotta get to grilling. I better get. I better get the food going. So yeah, aside from the little hiccup of him not being able to check out his PC on the spot due to his monitors being too old and not having the correct cables. I'd say everything else went pretty smoothly with the surprise and we had a fun barbecue for the rest of the evening, eating good food, surrounded by good company, playing board games and stuff like that. 
Uh, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching this and hearing the story of a fellow gamer getting a much deserved huge PC upgrade. And I want to give a shout out to NZXT, Corsair, and B1 Tech for helping out with some of the parts to make this project possible. To all the viewers out there, thank you as always for watching and for continuing to support the channel. Thank you to all the channel members for their above and beyond support. Stay safe out there and I will see you all down in the comments below as well as the next stream and or video. Bye.